This is Wong Gani. He's 22 months old. He's been brought into hospital by his grandmother with very severe swelling of his limbs and a rash. His mother's still at home because she's just had another baby. According to their health records, Wangani's mother tested HIV positive when she was two months pregnant with Wangani. She started ART at that time. The grandmother says Wangani was not given Neverapin syrup for his first weeks. Certainly, there's no record of it in his health passport. He was breastfed until he was one year old, but then stopped. Since birth, Wangani has been frequently sick. He was admitted with malnutrition to a local hospital at five months old. He's been admitted three more times since then. Unfortunately, the growth chart in his health passport has not been filled out. The grandmother doesn't have the previous local hospital records where presumably his weight and height were recorded. So the first note for his weight in his health passport was only from a month ago when he was taken to a health centre and diagnosed with sepsis. At this point, he weighed 10 kilos. Here, he was finally given an HIV test, which came back as positive. At the health centre, Wangani was initiated on ART. Two weeks later, he was admitted to the local hospital, having lost a kilo in weight. He had fever, diarrhoea and vomiting. He was treated with antibiotics for possible sepsis or gastroenteritis. He tested negative for malaria, but he was found to be acutely anaemic. Now Wangani has been referred to the central hospital because he's not improved. His legs have been swelling up and the diarrhoea and vomiting have continued. The edema started in his feet. In the two weeks since then it's moved up his legs. His hands are very swollen and his eyelids are puffy. He also has light-coloured hair. He has a cough. His conjunctiva are pale, suggesting that there's still anemia. Inside his mouth there are oral sores. He doesn't have a fever. His weight, height and upper arm measurements confirm that he's still severely malnourished. The rash is all over his body, with skin peeling in a number of places. Although his chest doesn't sound noisy, he has a cough, so Wangani is given a chest x-ray to assess for TB. The Quashia core, caused by lack of protein, has come on in the weeks following initiation of ART. This is relatively common in malnourished HIV-positive children who have started on ARVs, suggesting that it could be some kind of immune reaction. Wangani needs very careful management. He's initially treated with antibiotics to see if that will clear his chest. If it doesn't work, a further TB assessment will be done. He's given a blood transfusion, 
and put onto a feeding program for Quashier Cor. Because his immunity is suppressed both by HIV and Quashier Cor, Wangani is very vulnerable to infection. He's given treatment for Candida. His ARVs are switched because of the anemia. Wangani is now much better than a week ago. The diarrhea and vomiting have stopped. His anemia has improved slightly. He still has some edema, but it's going down. He's able to sit, take some steps with help and communicate. Wangani is being discharged from the hospital today. His edema is almost completely better and his skin condition has improved. He still has oral sores and he weighs 9.5 kilos. This is slightly less than on admission and well below the target weight of 11.3 kilos. A follow-up appointment is made for two weeks' time. Wangani has once again been brought by his grandmother. He looks much better and is able to walk on his own now. His cough is better, but the edema has not disappeared completely. There are no signs of sores inside his mouth, but there is an itchy rash which has appeared on his left thigh. He's had it for about two weeks now. Wangani is given calamine lotion for the rash. Although he looks much better, his nutritional assessment is almost identical to two weeks ago. His weight is the same, his upper arm measurement has improved very slightly. The grandmother says Wangani's baby sister, now five weeks old, is well and being seen at the health centre. Wangani is looking much better now. He no longer has a cough. He's had no night sweats or other signs of TB. The oral sores and edema have cleared up and the anemia is also better. His upper arm measurement is 16.4 centimetres and his height is 87 centimetres. Wangani is no longer receiving supplementary feeding. His weight has gone up to 13.8 kilos. This means that he's gained 4 kilos over the last 7 months. He's gone from being severely malnourished to having a healthy weight for his age.
These are pictures once again of when Wangani was first admitted to hospital eight months ago. He was extremely sick just after starting ART. But with a feeding program and treatment for the opportunistic infections, he pulled through. When children first start ART, it can be a very critical period. But if they can be helped through it, they can then do very well. Today, Wangani's grandmother says that he's back at nursery school where he enjoys playing and learning. As long as he keeps taking his ARVs, there's no reason why he shouldn't grow up to have an active and healthy life.